Good morning. How you doing? Hope you're well. It is a good day for me today. Um, I have a meeting with an architect today at the women's home. So um, yeah, in this video, I'm going to be updating you with what is happening with the house. I have some interesting updates for you. Um, it really feels like things are starting to kind of like get moving now. Um, yeah, and it's pretty scary. So yeah, there's a lot to do in a really short space of time. So I'm, I'm a little bit worried, but I have the faith, the belief that I can get this done. So I'm just on my way now to meet the architect. This is the um, third architect that I am hiring. <laughs> um, so hopefully third time lucky um, I wasn't actually going to use one this time because I'm having a rethink about the usage of the house whether it's going to be converted into the flats or not and of course if it's not going to be converted into flats then it doesn't need an architect as such because it becomes kind of a bit more of a straightforward renovation so um but I decided, no, I will get one in because there's also the forge which is attached to the back of the building that um, will need planning permission because it's just an empty shell and it will need planning permission. So, yes, anyway, I'm going to go now to see the architect and let's see what he says. So I am here at the home and I'm just waiting on the architect. He should be here soon. Um, but, yeah. It's actually colder inside the house than outside. It's freezing in here. And it is an absolute crap hole. And I will be showing you around the house at some point, not just yet, but I will be showing you around the house so you can see kind of the before, the after. You'll be coming on the whole journey, seeing the whole process of the transformation with me as well. Um, but just to give you an update, so I've got a builder and um, I put down a deposit for the builder. So I had to put down a big deposit for the builder to hold the space for the summertime. Haven't got an exact date yet, um, but it will be in the summertime. Um, and I am rather nervous because now I need to really start finding the money and I need a whole heap of money. <laughs> So I'm going to be completely transparent with you about what's happening. So the quote I've got from the builder is for 125000 but he's already forewarned me that that's probably going to be higher. Um, and then when you add in a contingency as well, then you're probably closer to 200000 I think, um, to get the work done. Um, but on top of that, I also really ideally need to clear the mortgage off of here because it's in joint names with the next partner. Um, I'll leave a link to the video up above and down below for the whole drama that I had with that. So those of you that know what happened there, I really don't want any ties with anybody on this property. So in an ideal world, I really, um, I really, really want to get rid of that mortgage. Um, in an ideal, ideal world, I don't want any mortgage on this property at all. Um, but if I need one, then I just want it solely in my name, my sole um, ownership, um, and then I don't have any other dramas. So I'm looking close to £500,000, uh, half a million, um, and I need that in about five months. <laughs> Oh my gosh, even just saying it, I'm like, what in the world? What am I, you know, when you're like, is that really doable? I don't know. I have faith and I have belief. And I always say that this house out of anything and everything I've ever done in my life, I know that I know that I know that I know that God has told me to turn this into a women's home. So I honestly am not worried about where the money's going to come from. I believe that there's enough people that support me, that follow me, that believe in the vision, that have a heart like I do to serve women, to help women, um, and really want to see this project work. Um, so I think there's enough people that will support me, that will either donate or the, the money's there. I honestly believe the money is out there somewhere. Um, I just have to believe that I'm going to get it and get it in time to be able to do what I need to do so send all your prayers my way because that's a whole ton of money <laughs> it's 
old and I'm money and I'm like, where do I even start? We're trying to raise half a million pounds in five months. Where do we even start with that? So at least I'm grateful to God he's bringing together a team of women that are helping me try and drive this and push it through. And this is just, remember, this is just the first of many. This is the first of many I'll be doing around the world. Um, so, you know, I, I know that this is just the the beginning, the tip of the iceberg of, of what's about to come. So, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm excited. My back's against the wall um, to pull this off. Um, I'm also going to be looking for partnerships, collaborations with brands, with companies that can donate things. Um, you know, if anybody's got a contact um, at Mel Bros, my builder, he gets his supplies and everything from Mel Bros. Um, so if anyone's got a contact there that, you know, might be interested in coming on board to support, I would appreciate it. Or any any kind of brand like Ikea, Homebase, B&Q, Wix, any of those brands, anyone that could, anyone that's involved in anything to do with housing, <laughs> basically, um, for the material side. And then obviously anybody else that just has a heart, just has a heart like I do to do this, um, to help me complete this property, but also, you know, all the other properties that we're going to be building around the world. It's going to be exciting. Come on. Come on, I feel like, you know what it is? I feel like I want to change the face of women's homes as well. Um, I want them to be a place that is just beautiful, basically. That we, where we would want to live, where we would want to go. And something that inspires them to believe in what's possible once they've actually left the home. So they see the surroundings, they see what's possible. And that's the other thing of what I want to do is I want to kind of help them on the whole journey of once they get to one of the homes, not just once they've left, but beyond that, where do they live? How do they do that? So housing them permanently, how do they get on the housing ladder, things like that. So yes. <laughs> It is a big project and I'm like, what in the world? If you'd have told me that I'll be doing this at age 50, I'd be like, nah. <laughs> but you know what? When God has called you to do something, um, it's up to him to make it happen, make it work. Obviously with work, hard work, dedication, having the right people. But um, he wouldn't give you something and not give you the ability to be able to do it. Yeah, that's not the God that I serve. Not the God I serve. So anyways, anyways, hook me up with anybody that you think might be able to help. Let me know if you're interested in helping, um, donating. I'm going to leave a link down below to a sign up, a place where this is not just about me. This is also about helping you to build your dreams as well. So, you know, mine is obviously building women's homes and building places and spaces for women to thrive. But yours could be something completely different, working with kids, living in... Africa or Australia or building a something else or creating products or whatever yours is, could be something completely different so I'm hoping that on this journey it will help you and it will inspire you and encourage you if I can remember to document and my thinking as well as what I'm doing but how my brain thinks in order to kind of like help you then um, that's also what I want to do so I'm going to leave a link down below of a document that can just help you when it comes to like you know moving forward with your dreams um, helping you think about what is it that you want to do and, um, and and things like that that might just help you take a few steps forward so click the link down below sign up to that and that will also be the sign up for um, being kept informed with what's happening here with the with the home and with everything that I'm doing so make sure that you sign up to that if you're interested in staying informed um, and coming on this journey with me of of building the dream